Yeah, Ravi, the list of cancellations continuing to grow tonight as some passengers we spoke with say they're happy to be back home. Some others are still waiting. It was a big what if until like 12 hours ago. The holiday rush home coming with its travel woes. Uh, flight there was delayed for about three and a half hours. And concerns over the ever looming COVID-19 virus. One of my best friends is stuck in Mexico right now and her family just tested positive and they're they got kicked out of their hotel room and it's just a whole disaster. Travelers struggling to get a clear landing back home as airlines grapple with cancellations and delays plaguing airports nationwide. Lucy Burke and her sister Charlotte back home in Chicago after a scare coming from Mexico. And there was a lot of more stress around the return travel and if we could get back and we had friends that were testing positive and we were really worried and we were like, we don't know what we're going to do if that happens. So far, more than 5,000 flights in the U.S. have been grounded since Friday and nearly 1,300 across the country canceled today alone. That's according to the Flight Aware tracking website. This as airlines are being hit with a shortage of staff and crew after many called in sick over the spread of the Omicron variant. Weather in the Pacific Northwest also to blame. The issues leaving some passengers eager to board their flights for takeoff. I actually came here for my dad's funeral. I'll go ahead and share that. And uh, we feel like he's been watching over us the whole time. So we feel really blessed and we feel like this plane's going to take off and he's, he's up there helping us out. While others simply happy to get from the other side of the TSA, ending the holiday weekend back home. I hope that people are safe when they travel yeah. and that they get where they need to be and that hopefully they get home. And more than 30 flights were canceled here at O'Hare Airport today as nearly 200 flights across the country were canceled for tomorrow.